never have too much food. If you can, just hunt every like five yards <laughs> and just gun down everything in sight. Yeah, no, Weird Al Yankovic isn't exactly appropriate, but I thought it'd be funny to put in there the whole Amish paradise thing. <laughs> I'm gonna take another rest, just to let some grass grow. <laughs> yeah, you'll find yourself waiting for grass to grow around you in this game a lot. But you know, just do it, it'll get you through. And off we go. Coming up to some kind of crater. <laughs> I don't recognise a lot of these landmarks. I've never actually been to America, well, apart from New York, but that's not really the same thing. I oh, know Dean's been fucking with the snakes. God's sake, fucking Dean. Give you a slap. I caught my name way up the side of an independent truck near the top. There are hundreds of days up there. The world is front to cop by mountain men and fur trappers. Famous names like Fremont, Ron, Vernon, Deschmet. Names that I have never fucking heard of. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> While we're slugging along, I'll tell you a couple of stories. If you like. <laughs> uh, as to where the Bucks Obscure Society comes from, which is where you're watching this right now, in case you hadn't noticed, or in case you're blind. Uh, it was originally decided that we were going to start it as a university society, but we hadn't started university yet, so we had no idea that it, it there was already a comedy society at the uni. So we just decided to start our own little one, which subsequently has ended up with only three people in it at the moment, but we make an effort. <laughs> just doesn't seem to be going very far at the moment. <laughs> The old South Pass talks to people. Ooh, a native Indian. When the white man first crossed our lands, their wagons were few. Now they crowd the trail in great numbers. The land is overgrazed with their many animals. Do any white men still live in the east? My people talk of moving. Oh, don't move. Fuck's sake. You're the native. You've got, you've got to stay there. <laughs> Father's sick. Shame. Did he fuck with those snakes? I bet he did. To take the shortcut, you don't need to go to the fort. There's already loads of them anyway. You know we love maple leaf rag, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh, Dean with your dysentery. You bastard, stay away from me. Oh, and bad water, that's never good. Is dysentery contagious? I think so. I assume so. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep Dean segregated from everyone else for, <laughs> for a while. Oh. Now Dabo and I's got the old typhoid fever. <laughs> it's not it's not a good time. So we'll just gun down some deer to make ourselves feel better. <laughs> yeah, you'll notice um we we made a uh, made a pilot for um the Master Steelers Collective in the end uh it, it was a, a flop to say the least. <laughs> Probably because I wrote it. <laughs> so we've got um, 009 writing it now. He's going to write the rest of the series. We're going to do six episodes um, and see how that goes. And me and Nordic are writing a new, another show, but that's going to be more of a drama with kind of comedy elements. But we're not giving away too much about that right now. We'd like, to, we'd like people to find out for themselves. <laughs> but thanks for anyone who did, who did watch the pilot episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Go and take a look if you haven't seen it. It didn't come out too great, but it, you know, it was a pilot, we were practicing. I thought it would pay the guy to take us across this time. They're all dying, so he might as well. Yay! We're going hunting again. Ooh, ah, one shot, yes. Nailed him. And another one. Oh, he got away. Oh, I'll just take that one instead. <laughs> you notice it's very rainy and freezing. Oh no, it's warm again. Raining and warm. How often does that happen? And Dean's been fecking with those snakes. It, there appears to be uh, like a terrible snake problem around there. <laughs> and people just can't resist going and messing with them. They must be very appealing snakes. And Dean just wasn't cautious enough. But we found some wild fruit though. Yeah, just eat some random fruit we found lying around in the middle of nowhere where there's not even any trees. Just, just, just found it on the floor, but we'll eat it. We're not fussy. That's probably the single biggest person I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like bigger than the whole wagon almost. 
but he's bigger than his own wagon. <laughs> he's almost as big as the lake. Must be Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris is getting himself some water. <laughs> I tried to learn this on piano once, but it was quite unsuccessful. <laughs> I'm just not good enough. <laughs> I've heard it said that there are many off to take the short to shut there. If I take a the short cut, she can save many days on the trail. Wow, the sort of things are so pretty. Seems to stand in regular intervals. Felt good to just rest and not be jostled to do it. Of course, she has a man's voice. <laughs> Obviously. So the time warp in. Mm. <laughs> We're doing an exorbitant amount of hunting, but we need a lot of food. Come here, bitch. <laughs> I like the way the ones that give you the most meat are the slowest. It just makes it way too easy. They should make the ones with the most meat the fastest. Even though that would be slightly unrealistic. Phil's well again. Oh, Phil's been fucking with the snakes. I didn't spot that one. So I just slip that one under the radar. He's hiding in the back and covering his crime. At least he's alright now. Another fort, and a poorly constructed one at that. It's held up with like wooden sticks. Are we gonna trade? Uh, you're thinking about it? Uh, no, it's not. Let's buy some stuff. What are we gonna buy? I think we need some food. So we'll spend fifteen dollars on food, even though it's pretty unnecessary because we can really like hunt twenty-four hours a day. I, wait, this this uh, fort has the exact same shopkeeper with the exact same shop as the one like a thousand miles away. He gets around a bit. Bit of a pimp. Everyone loves him. No, just I can't whistle. Bit of a handicap, really. Hey, <laughs> it's sunny again. Oh, we found some more of that fruit lying around. It's in the middle of the grass. Oh, uh, and the grass is turned radioactive again. There's another holocaust going on. Mm, dear. A bit of a disaster when the grass starts flashing. Must be that wild fruit messing with this. Some opium. Oh wait, the trail's impassable. There's nothing fucking there apart from that radioactive grass. There's quite clearly... No oh, no, we're off. There's quite clearly nothing in the way, but, you know. The ox was scared by a mouse or something. And here comes the next river. This is almost like one of those guided tour things. If you look to the east, you will see a poorly drawn river. Oh, that's Hunt. Give the rabbit, give the rabbit, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty resilient deer. Took like three bullets to take that one down. There's no grass again. Right, it's so unbelievably foggy that we can't walk in a straight line on a featureless landscape. That's pretty terrible fog. <laughs> 